Hey guys, my name is Lauren and today I'm going to teach you how to make royal icing butterflies. They are perfect decorations for cookies, macarons, cupcakes, really any kind of baked good you want to jazz up. So let's go. So here is my little butterfly template. It's just a piece of paper that I printed out. Actually, I'll link it uh, in my website so you can download it and use it for yourself. And then I use a sheet of wax paper on top. And that way I can reuse my butterflies a couple of times. So um, now you can take a detail consistency royal icing. Um, it's just a little bit thicker than a flood consistency and it'll hold its shape a little better. I like my butterflies to have sort of raised wings. I think it looks a little bit more lifelike. So I actually do the wings separately. And then after they're dry, I'll show you what I do to them. We're just putting the base coat on right now. So. Okay, and then I use my scribe to kind of push the icing um, in to fill any gaps that I might have. We are going to use some edible markers a little bit later to draw our more precise designs on it and um, make it look a little bit more lifelike. For as fancy as they look, it's actually incredibly easy. Okay guys, so now our butterfly wings are nice and dry. They've been sitting out in front of a fan for a couple of hours. Um, so now I'm going to take my template, this guy, just kind of set it aside so that I have something to look at to make sure that I'm drawing the details on there kind of correctly. But you don't have to be a perfectionist about this. I mean, butterflies look different and um, they're not perfect and, and neither are we. So uh, anyway, to draw on the details, I'm gonna use two different edible pins. This first one is Tweet's Cookie Connection. Um, and you have to buy it directly from her website. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, I'll link it in the video description. And it is perfect for teeny tiny details. Um, because the tip is so small. So that's awesome. Um, that's the smallest tip that I have been able to find for uh, edible markers. And then I also have a 10 pack set from Americolor that I got off Amazon. It has 10 different colors. And um, so I really like using those for different projects. I have the black marker. Show you the tip. As you can see, the tip is a little bit bigger, so it's easier to get fine details with the other marker, but around the sides and in larger areas, I do like to use the Americolor one because it is a little bit um, more saturated of a color, a darker black. Um, so I like using both, but you can just choose one depending on your preference depending on how small your butterfly wings are. If I had to pick one, I would probably pick the Tweets Cookie Connection marker just because I know I can get in there with my small, small details. So, um, like I said, our wings are adhered to the surface. If I push them, they don't move, which is ideal for drawing the little details on there. Um, you don't want something this small to really move around on you while you're trying to draw something like this. So each of the wings is going to be kind of divided in half. And I'll just draw on here and you can see what it looks like. Sometimes around the corners is a little bit goofy, but um, you just change your angle, it'll be fine. Okay, so we've got our main little components on there and then just basically add 
bunch of little circles. Okay, so that looks kind of wacky right now, but it'll look better once we color in the dark spots around it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and color in some of these smaller areas with my Tweets Connection brush, or not brush, it's a marker. It's a marker. But I can get the outer bits with my Americolor. Okay, so now we're just gonna draw this guy on there. And I mean, like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. People will know what it is if you make a few mistakes, it's fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Americolor and just color the outside. Okay, so that is wing number one is done. Um, so now we'll just do out the other wings and um, the Americolor pen does stay a little bit wet and inky on the royal icing at first. So just let it dry, make sure you don't stamp your hand against it and then um, stamp it somewhere else because uh, you can get smudging that way. The smaller pen does dry a little bit quicker. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you what it looks like when we add their body. I'm gonna go ahead and just peel these up. They should come up easily off of your wax paper. If they're dry, they will come up pretty easily. If they're not quite dry, then you might break it. But that's why we make several at a time. Okay, so I'm actually gonna turn this to the side. Um, all right. So now I use, to set them up, I use um, two bamboo skewers and I tape them down to my wax paper so that they don't move and these are just going to act as a sort of prop. And I'm going to wait to tape down the second one until I know exactly where I want it and that will depend on how big my butterfly wings actually are. So he's gonna hit about there. And he'll hit about there. Yeah, so that's about where I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape down my skewer, now that I know. Okay. So I'm gonna move these guys. I'm gonna take some black detail consistency royal icing and just pipe a little bit in the middle for the body. So now you wanna take, usually go one wing at a time and just kind of make sure he touches the body and lays how you want to. And see, he is sitting up on the bamboo skewer. So that means that as the wing dries, it'll dry lifted in a fluttering pose. And once that center royal icing 
dries, then you'll be able to just pop it off the wax sheet like it's no problem. So I'm gonna give you a closer view of what I'm actually doing now that you've seen the whole setup. Once again, we're adding just a little bit in here, and it does not have to be a perfect line. You won't really see it a whole lot. Most of what you'll be seeing in the finished product will be the wings. So, add one. Come here, buddy. And two, and just make sure they're touching really good. All right, and I'm gonna do one last one. Because you guys kind of get the idea by now. Okay, um, so since the wet royal icing is really tiny, it's just that one strip, it's gonna dry pretty quickly. Um, so it might be dry in about an hour or two. I'd give it an hour or two just to make sure that it's fully dry and you're not gonna break your butterfly when you're pulling it up. Yeah. So that's what that looks like. Here is the finished product. Slightly different color, but same thing. And we'll have nice raised wings. So you can see I'm about to fly away. So that's what they'll look like. And then to adhere um, one of these to a cookie or a macaron, you just use a dot of royal icing down on your cookie or whatever surface you're attaching it to. Just one or two dots that can be well hidden behind the body. And that'll be enough to act as a glue and attach them. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you give it a try at home. It's really very easy. You just need a little bit of time to do it. If you haven't subscribed already, then please subscribe for more tutorials and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for tuning in guys.